Good morning, everyone, and welcome to my uh, channel. This is Chotty, and today we're going to. Sh I want to show you how to make a mini, mini um, little curtain curtain rod. Um, anyway, uh, so for this project, you need, of course, a skewer. You need a skewer, uh, a couple of beads. Uh, I need some uh, little uh, those little pins. You know, little ones. Uh, then we need, of course, uh, some fine sandpaper, glue, and pliers, maybe, just to kind of push it down, so no biggie, okay? Um, first, you're going to do, decide what length you want. My beads are just rolling down the, uh, you know, down here. Uh, first thing you want to do is, of course, you're going to just, you know, figure out how the length of your window, and uh, this is just you know, one that I had, I didn't cut it, but you know, give you an idea anyway. Once you get that, the idea, you know, how long you wanted it, uh, including, of course, your uh, your header. Oops, I'm telling you, they're just getting away from me today. Um, then uh, you would cut it, of course. You don't want the pointed side, okay? You want two, up, two sides to be nice and blunt. Once you get that done, with a fine, fine uh, sandpaper, you wanna go ahead and get it nicely, nicely um, sanded. You don't have to be very, very hard, but you feel it with your fingers, it's nice and smooth, uh, especially if you're going to do a lace curtain because you know, the, uh, the smoother it is, the, the easier it's going to be to actually, you know, thread the curtain into the rod, okay? And the, the, the ends, you wanna sum them down too nicely at the end, again, so there would be no sharp edges on both ends. And it don't take that much to do, really. Once you feel that that's, that's done, then we're ready. The next thing we're gonna do, uh, I'm gonna use this sort of like to put the um, beads on and also kind of, actually I'm gonna do something else to, for my, uh, to make the hole. Uh, this is called a bead reamer. I love this thing, I don't know. It seems to have a little bit of a, I guess you can sand, you know, a little abrasive around here and I just love it. But it also has a very sharp, sharp, sharp point. So with this little point, I'm going to come down right straight in the middle, okay? So bear with me, because I have to see what I'm doing. Be careful, because it will split if you're not, okay? Excuse me. Okay, let's see. Just kind of, don't have to go super, super deep, deep but just enough to kind of, uh, let's see. Oh yeah, maybe about an eighth of an inch, give or take. It's just enough to, I mean, if, see, it already splitting, but that's okay, it's gonna be all right, no problem. Then you're gonna get your bead. Now, if you have not painted your bead yet, I don't wanna paint mine because I love it. Just love this color. It's just perfect for me. So I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm using that turbo glue. I like it in a way for some things better than the E6000. Uh, it seems to stay in better. Uh, so I'm using the, like I say, I will use the wood glue, but that's yellow, that's not gonna work. Okay, so I'm going to get some of this. Make sure it goes down. I hope you're doing good. Um, I have enjoyed really making this craft room. I have so many plans for it. And we wanna get lots of stuff, but make sure it don't look, you know, really junked up, but yeah. Okay, once we get this down, hold on, I'm gonna get this little pen. Once we get the, uh, the you know, the, um, the glue in here, I'm gonna see about how long, I have probably about, oh, no, not very long, but you know, but over one eighth for sure. Uh, I was able to get it down that, that much. So I'm going to go ahead and put my bead on. At first I'm gonna put some glue in here, just a little bit, and then I'm just gonna hold my little bead right at the end. And then I figure about how much I need to cut, which I already kind of show you. I think I can eyeball it, I hope. And then with a little cutter, 
we're going to cut. Let me do it under here so I don't, I got mama, I got my dogs. It started thundering today and everybody just like, oh! <laughs> Everybody's afraid of the thunder around here, it, except me. Okay, once I cut it, see, I got a little bit. Can you kind of tell? And hopefully we can get that on there pretty much. And I am holding the, the skewer, you know, tight. And once I do that with the same thing, I just kind of, uh, just like a nail. Perfect. And it's there. See? Now you got your little um, stineal, whatever they call these things, anyway. Uh, and then you can do that with any kind of bead or anything. And it's secure. And once it's dry, believe me, it's dry. And I'm going to put a little bit more around it. And then, then I'll take it off here in a minute. Okay? Make sure it stays there a little bit inside. Now, you can paint it any color you want to. And you do the same thing to the other side, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and do it again. So you can see it and it could be anything sharp so i'm gonna get very very careful excuse my dog tigger is i tell you that girl it is something else all my animals are weird uh just like me <laughs> anyway but the thing is she likes to eat early and every day gets earlier and earlier and oh no 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 it's not early so I don't know what's in her head. I really don't. The only thing she can think of is food. Ouch. Well, see? Be careful. Be very, very careful, guys. I just, I didn't draw blood or anything, but, you know, be very careful. Because you're working with it, you know, and kids do not do this by yourselves. The mama or somebody, the adult do it. For some reason, this end is a little bit more harder. Why is it turning to punch myself? Let me get it off here so I can see better, okay? Okay, I think I can do better when I can see it. And I can go slowly on it. And that's what you want. You just kind of want to, you know, kind of slowly work it on it and just do a hole. Once you do that, you're going to do the same thing as we did before. I want to bring in my little... Uh, pin put it in there uh, I didn't I wasn't able it's kind of a hard spot so I wasn't able to uh, do it as well but uh, but you get the idea okay once you get that done then you're ready to actually put your oh by the way you want to put your curtain in here before you actually put the beads on okay so make sure it's ready to go any way you want to uh, my my whole idea is that I don't mind making all the drapes and all the little rods, but I like to be able to take them on and off, you know, when I want to. So that's why I did it this way. Now, how I did the, uh, let me show you what I've done in here. Let's see if we can get it. I did a little hook, which by the way, you might be able to use uh, like a hook and eye, you know, the hooks of it, if it's big enough to turn it, to make it, fit your rod you could do that because that is just almost, uh, almost what I did to it and what I did for it was I got me a piece of uh, I cut me a piece of um, length of uh, wire this is just floral wire you know thin wire but but still pretty strong okay and then what I did was uh, I probably did about a couple of inches. This is a little bit smaller, but it kind of give you the idea, okay? Then I really grip it up here really, really close. Okay? And then I just... And I can find my other little piece. Oh, here it is. Okay? With this one here, what I did is I put it down and I just came out around it. Okay, until I did basically a little hook. 
Can you tell? Let's see if I can get it. See? Okay. You can just put it like this and then straight on and, and just, uh, you know, glue it into the wall. And that'll be fine. See? It will hold the... Um, whoops. And that's all really you have to do. Okay? It will hold your, uh, your rod very nicely and it won't go past that. Okay, so basically this is what I did. The only other difference is that I came out and gave it like an S look and then just, you know, did it that way. But I think I would like it better if it was flat, to tell you the truth, okay? So once it's flat, if both ovens are not the same size, we'll just cut it to make it sure that both of them is the same size. And I did cut it. Uh, poke a little bit on my anyway like that see and then you just put it on on your wall you will just put it on like this glue it make sure uh, again that your rod did your rod you know where you're going to place your rod so it will go right in there okay and that's it that's it now let me show you what I because we're going to go ahead and hang our curtains I went and did the curtains, and I did add a little bit of a uh, middle jabo, whatever they call those little things. And I'm gonna show you here in a sec how I did that, okay? But this is what I did. I measure it, and to be sure that my little, um, and I also painted, see, I painted the little rod. Uh, I put it on here, and it's gonna stay there. And I put it, well, down in there there we go there we go and then I'll just kind of you know bring it in in both sides place my little jabot and voila and this will hang down it's a lot of electricity in here for some reason okay come on baby stay there and I probably what I'll do and since I'm not done with it yet you know put some ribbon or something and make a putty bow but I'll show you what I'll do when it, because I like it for it to stay really cute, okay? So we'll do that later. But I just wanted to show you that once you get that little thing done and, and you glue it, make sure it's, you know, good and dry before you do, put it the curtains, of course. Uh, and that's it. I mean, it just, it's beautiful. Uh, they'll stay there, because right now it's kind of, uh, you know, upside down or whatever. And so... We got curtains. Now let me show you how I did this little middle piece, okay? Alrighty, let's put this aside for a sec. Throw this out in the trash. The... Now what I did is basically, I cut a piece like this. What I did on mine, I already had a scallop from the, from the lace that I saved. So I didn't have to, you know, do anything to the edge of it because this is the bottom this part in here is the bottom and all of this here is what you're going to gather and put on on your rod okay so i already sewn right wrong, right sides together and i have go ahead and sew by hand with the back stitch all the way down then i very close i trimmed every little bit that i had and then i turn it Now, if you want a little ruffle, like for instance, let me take that off for just a second. If you want this little bit of a ruffle in here, and we talked about it, then you're gonna go in here first, whatever length you want, and then you're gonna go back and make actually the opening for your rod, okay? So I just wanna mention that. Let's see what I did with my needle, because it's right in here. So then, very quickly I'm gonna backstitch uh, I don't even take but once I backstitch the uh, you know the uh, right sides together you know on the wrong side I keep my thread hanging and I come down to whatever how much ruffle I want on the top first if that's what you want okay I'm just gonna baste it because really uh, otherwise we'll be here the whole day but you would do the backstitch the whole way Okay, because you know what I'm talking about. 
And once you do your back stitch, let's see. And of course you want to go all the way. I'm, I mean, I'm taking, I'm, I'm not taking my time, but you would take your time. Make sure all the size, you know, the things are together and all of that. But like I said, do this with the back stitch, okay? And of course you would go, whoops. This is a way also too you can do that on a, actually on a, on a regular curtain, uh, I would get, um, I would cut a piece on the bias and just go make my casing out of that, okay? But you can do that too on the, okay, you come here, okay. Now this, if you wanted to do it, for instance, the two pieces together, you would sew here first, okay? Uh, leave a little opening because you can to turn it then of course they round the circle and all of that so you can do that too especially if you do a regular size curtain you may want to do it that way to make it easier but it's up to you okay I'm gonna go ahead and without stopping because this is so tiny it's not gonna make any difference I'm gonna anchor this first okay then I'm gonna come to my rod and my rod is pretty little so I'm just gonna say you know a quarter of an inch and uh, I'm not gonna worry about that thread, but I am gonna anchor it here really, really good. So when I cut that thread, it's not going anywhere, okay? And then again, this will be done in, you know, uh, back stitch. And, but I wanted to do it so you can show you. And this is very roughly done, okay? I'm sorry, but. I do have a tetanus shot if anybody's worried about me. <laughs> I do. <laughs> so don't worry. Uh, I tell you, this is hazard of a of profession in it. But that's okay. You know, it's not, you just have to be very, very careful. Okay, once I, you know, backstitch all the way around, whatever I, I have to do, like I said, this is not even done very nicely because you want everything nice and even. But I wanted to show you quickly. Then, of course, you would, uh, you know, tack the end very, very well. And I really like to tack it in, okay? And you would cut it. And I know I have a scissors here. You would cut it, okay? Alrighty. And let's just pretend that I have my little scallop in here that I took advantage of and all of that, okay? The next thing you do, because I don't want that much of a stuff, I cut off the excess fabric. This is just for the, uh, the little curtains, you know, lace curtains. Now, you may do something else for, for a fabric one will be different. Like I said, this is rough. Okay, then you're going to in case the, um, let's see, I, I think I had the uh, thread in here. I'm going to take sure I took it off. And then if everything works well, and we just kind of put our little tongue on certain way on our mouth, this might work. Hold on. It's hard to see this fabric too, by the way. I might have to do it from the other side. Let me see if I can get it. Because it's opened. Open, open, open. Well, let's see. It is open, but it's hard to uh, to get it there. And I want to show you guys how this... Ah, uh, okay. Now we got it. Let's see. Oh, okay, I got it. Let me, let me put that in there real quick. And then just put this one right on it. Okay, there we go. And then, of course, you're gonna fit the whole thing. And usually it goes pretty good. And especially, like I said, it really does help that you have a nice and smooth rod. And you can make this jabot uh, just as uh, 
wide as you want to, I mean, on the bottom, and that'll give you more, okay? So it's up to you. And uh, let's see, you just have to kind of handle it a little bit. And come on, baby, come on out. <laughs> Let's see if we can get it out. Oh, wow. Okay. And, of course, we got to, like I said, this is not even, <laughs> but I'll give you an idea what you're doing, okay? Because I, oh, normally I would even, you know, I'll take my time with it and everything. But there you go. So you can make as many little, you know, things as you want to, little pleated thingies. And... You know, once it's set down there, it looks really cute on. So this is what I did right in here, okay? And when I put it on the window, I gather the windows more so that your ball will be bigger. And then the next thing I did so it will not move and wiggle around, I stitched it right here on both sides of the panel, just a little bit. You cannot really tell, but it's there. And then that way, you know, you have the whole thing together. <coughs> Excuse me. And it really turned out cute. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, but there it is. But if everything is well, see, like this one, everything is even all the way through, because I took my time. <coughs> Excuse me. And then, uh, you know, it's, that's what, it, it, everything looks nice. And again, you don't have to do that. You can make it with, you can don't have to do it with the header, you know, with the little ruffle on the top. You can just do it straight on. This is up to you. But I just thought quickly, you know, uh, share that with you that I didn't get a chance to do on the curtain, you know, uh, tutorial. So uh, there's a lot of stuff coming in. Uh, I'm working on a secretary and it's looking awesome. I wanna show you a little bit of it, okay? This is what we want to be working on because I don't have legs or anything yet. But that, <laughs> it was fun to do. <laughs> but hopefully I can explain it to you. I, you know, this is when I had to do this because by doing it, I learned my mistakes and then I can make it to you, make it easier for you to do. So, uh, oh, it's really cute with the lid. It has a lid, it, it opens and closes, uh, I mean, this thing is is really really cute all the drawers open also let me get see if i can get a okay right here they're tiny okay but they do open see and close and I, I haven't put the knobs on yet okay but they do open it's just that it's hard to get in my mid. come on baby don't make a liar mama <laughs> here we go Okay, and of course this one too. I have a wax on it. I think that makes it stick so it's not completely dry dry yet, but everything opens and we even have, we'll be making a key. There's my key, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> so I just wanna give you a little, a little bit of preview. I'm gonna show the whole thing, but just a, a little preview of what we're doing, okay? Uh, it's sort of a replica of one, uh, uh, I have an antique one, and it's sort of a replica of that one as much as possible in this size, of course. So, and it has molding on the, uh, you know, I mean, it's, it's gonna be really cute, but actually it's not that hard to put together, which I was amazed. Uh, I thought it was gonna be really hard, but it isn't. So, this is gonna be our next tutorial. Uh, I'm gonna be doing also an ar the little mini iron boards. Also, I'm making one. Uh, as I told you, I make a lot of, uh, I'm, I'm starting to make in fashion for Barbie dolls and stuff like that. And um, I need an, a special iron board to fit her clothes. So I'm making one, not the mini mini, but still a little one. Uh, so that I'll be able to get her clothes in there. So I'm really excited about that one. Anyway, so until next time, stay well. Keep those thumbs up, by the way, and subscribe and share, okay? We need those. So please, please, please do that. And uh, I hope this lesson helped you out in some way. And until then, anyway, like I say, stay well and stay crafty. And God bless you.